Hong Kong protesters converging on Victoria Park have begun marching to Lan Kwai Fong, a busy bar and clubbing district located in Central. Tonight marks the first time they've targeted the party district in five months of protests. The march coincides with the city's popular Halloween celebrations. Protesters have been circulating downloadable masks to use in defiance of the ban on face coverings. Hong Kong police have banned the march and ramped up security in preparation for possible clashes. Around 3,000 riot officers and three uh, water cannons uh, have been deployed. Meanwhile, the city's subway operator will shut down some stations earlier than usual as a precautionary measure. And for the latest, let's um, get to our correspondent, Afifa Arafin. She is in Hong Kong. So, Afifa, what's happening on the ground right now, you know, uh, where you are? T tell us, uh, you know, what's going on. Well, right now I'm here at Causeway Bay, and if you can see behind me, uh, many of the crowds, mostly anti-government protesters who are here to celebrate Halloween, are making their way from where they gathered at Victoria Park uh, to Lan Pai Fong area in Central. Now, Lan Pai Fong is a very uh, popular district with many bars and pubs, as you guys were saying, and Halloween celebrations are an annual uh, fixture there. So there were dozens of people gathered, but I understand that more people uh, had joined in the crowd of Victoria Park and now making uh, their way to Lan Kwai Fong. So as we know, Halloween is traditionally when people dress up in costumes, mainly ghoulish costumes. So tonight, a lot of the protesters have printed out uh, face masks, some of them of iconic characters, but we're also seeing face masks of politicians here in Hong Kong, like Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam as well. And the concern that the authorities have is that protesters would exploit this Halloween tradition uh, to test the tolerance of this anti-mask ban that was enforced back in October. Although having said that, we do know that even when the ban kicked in, many of the protesters in masses would still come out wearing that black face mask at various rallies over the last couple of weekends. Now, in terms of what the police are doing to, uh, measure, to some of the measures that police are enforcing tonight, the police in a video earlier this afternoon did say that wearing masks as part of Halloween celebrations is permissible. However, as part of the anti-mask ban, the police will have the powers to ask anyone uh, to remove the face masks, facial coverings, or wipe off face paint in order to be able to identify them. Some of the people here that I spoke to earlier said that this is something that they will comply with, that if the police do ask them to remove the face mask, then they will just simply do so. The police also reminded people that anyone who refuses to comply with the instructions could be arrested and charged as well. So these are some of the measures that the police are taking place. Right now, the march is still um, ongoing. We do see riot police being stationed at several uh, locations along this route. But whether violence will break out, that's something that we'll have to see. The police did say, though, that if violence does break out, then any gatherings tonight will be considered unauthorized assemblies, and therefore nobody on the streets will be able to wear any face masks at all. All right. Um, thanks for that. Afifa Arfin speaking to us uh, from Hong Kong, and she is in um, Causeway Bay, where we can see that protesters are making their way to the clubbing district of Lang Kwai Fung, the popular, you know, um, watering hole. And tonight is Halloween celebrations, and so the police have also stepped up their presence um, for fear of um, any disruption that might happen.